Tour de Cape Flats was a uniquely Cape Town event organized by the Western Province Cycling Union affiliated to the South African Council on Sport Alliance South African Cycling Board. As the name suggests, the route took the riders through the Cape Flats, home to the marginalized who were so ruthlessly uprooted from their original homes under the Apartheid Group Areas Act. The event was held under trying circumstances supported by committed, passionate, and dedicated officials. For seasons travel, and then Portia Toyota, a motor dealership in Castles Fly Road, Belleville South, showed support for the event with Portia Toyota becoming title sponsor in 1985, further enhancing the prestige of the event. In addition to the racing aspect, there was an event for all comers and schools allowing the community to get a feel of their very own Tour de France. The road took the riders from Gatesville Shopping Center through Rylands and Hanover Park onto Strandfontein Road, passing Ottery, Lotus River, Grassy Park, Pelican Park, Strandfontein Village, and to Baden Powell Drive. Then all along the coast road, past Mawabisi Beach, Kealitja, Burst River, past Spire onto the M12. Then over Polka Drive, passing Somerville, Highbury, proceeding onto the old 300 bisecting West Bank and Down, proceeding through Mitchell's Plain. And then proceeding through Philippi onto Imam Perrin Road, through Begalitu onto Cliff Fontaine Road, passing High Devil and Surrey Estate, to finish back at the Gatesville Shopping Center. A true tour to Cape Flats.
Wait for me, man.
ça peut pas un Um, 
So there was a, a tremendous amount of difficulty on the route, but when you hit the flat areas, it was much easier. Um, but I wanted to ask you, how did you find the, the spirit of the riders who were riding with you? Um, some of them were lax in the beginning, afterwards you see them and try working together. Okay, congratulations and good luck and we hope to see more cycling achievements from you and uh, we expect great things from you. So work harder, study harder, give a message to the community. Thank you. Um, congratulations Virgo on winning the juvenile section of the Toyota Frontier 1985 to the Cape Flats of approximately 90 k. Uh, Virgo, you come from a cycling tradition. Uh, your uncle are uh, people that have been the mainstay in the non-racial cycling fold. And for generation, generations, your family, the Clutis and the Barandolas, have all produced winners and national champions. So uh, it's not really unexpected to see you around here. I was expecting to see you much earlier on the scene. Uh, Rodo, can you give us a bit of an insight into the spirit of the race? Not how you found the race, the spirit of the race, the competitiveness, the togetherness, and some of the problems you encountered as a junior. Um, the spirit was very good. Um, the cyclists were like, um, there was a lot of friendship and camaraderie in the race. They weren't against each other or anything like that. And um, during the race, there are a lot of sports which I feel is most unnecessary. And I feel a cycle should be more uh, careful in the future. Um, as a juvenile, I found the race a lot of tough, but it was quite hard. And um, like sometimes we were expected to close some gaps and things like that, but the race was quite well organized. Uh, do you have any uh, suggestions to the organizing committee and the sponsors? For the 1986 uh, 2 decade uh could you give perhaps one or two recommendations from you as a junior cyclist, perhaps? Um, no, I think it was quite well organized. Uh, but uh, the robots in it were always a cause there and things like that. The second we were back down well by the second, I don't think it was quite well organized. So the backing up of the medical group, the first aid and the official were quite well organized. I've been on the route, I've seen some of you performing. Um, good luck and uh, in your future educational career and sports team, may you do well. Thank you. This guy is very, very good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the winner of the Frontier Toyota 1985 Tour de Cape Flats, distance 90 kilometers, completed in just over two hours, is Douglas Carlton of the Omega Club. Well done, Dougie. Um, you're a man who doesn't talk much, but a man who does things in action. Uh, Dagi, it is very interesting feature that you have beaten your coach this morning in the Tour de Cape Flats. Um, well, I think it's obvious well for cycling as a whole, um, because when we have this type of competition, it only improves our time and improves also the ability of other riders. I noticed that there were two types of cycles used today. It was those that were fixed and free will. Um, Tagi, what was the problem that he was skin on ticket of the race? So, Tagi, a problem. Well, Dagi is a man from Menwoorde, but today, more than a few loftiges from Dagi, and we hope he all of the best in the Europa, all of that he does. Thank you.
In uh, first position, the lady that I have uh, interviewed here this morning was Mary Newman of the Omega Club. Her time was 1 hour 29,36 seconds. Uh, in second place is Beverly Adams in 1 hour 35,15 seconds. In the juvenile section, the Virgil Martin won, followed by his cousin H. Kruger, and in third position, A. Chappie. The juniors, in the senior event, the winner, a new winner, was D. Carl's of Omega, followed by the defending the future champion, W. Newman, who I'm going to interview later, and C. Kricher. In the other senior section, the winner of the last three years, followed by a young 54-year-old Leonard Tulsa, and in third position of our Sables. Mr. Leroux at the age of completed in 90 Ks in 2 hours, 29. The cyclists, please collect the badges at the academy. Um, it's a rather beautiful morning, and uh, can you tell me, um, it's the first time you've been beaten over the last three years. Can you tell me all the problems and the spills I heard the junior and juveniles were talking about? Um, there was an unusual amount of schools today, I don't know what the reason was. It's just unfortunate, um, actually don't, I can't actually pinpoint what the reason was, I just think the cycles have to be more careful, that's all I can say. Uh, I follow the route, as you know, we bypassed you, I've noticed that there was a bit of irresponsibility by some of the registered cyclists, some are riding 3-4 in a lane, and uh, I think uh, safety first should be the number one thing. Uh, how did you find the route? This is a different route in comparison with the last two, two of the gate lads. Yeah, it's a longer route and a tougher route. All the training is required and it's a very, very hard route, I think. Um, Billy, uh, it seems about a bit of a paradox that uh, you being the coach is defeated by your pupil. How do you feel about that? Well, actually, I'm very proud of him. He had the guts to make the break. And with the help of his teammates, he got cut away. And it just shows a good team, teamwork and in the club. And that is one of the hallmarks of our club, very good teamwork and club work. So it's actually a club achievement here today that Dougie has won the race. Uh, well, Dougie has been in cycling for the last two, three years. Um, I've noticed a phenomenal uh, improvement. Uh, can you tell me something about the personality of Dougie? Dougie is a very quiet, unassuming character, a man who doesn't utter much, a man who slowly goes about doing his thing. Can you as his coach and uh, also his captain tell me about him please and give us some information please? Uh, he's a very quiet bloke but in training he listens and he tries to do whatever you tell him to do and I think this is a good quality of him where he will listen to people of more experience and people teaching him and he can only improve the way he's going, and I'm very proud of him. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, that's the defeated champion, Billy uh, Newman of Omega, uh, the national uh, track champion, um, and he's been pe uh, beaten by one of his protégés and students here this morning. Uh, Billy was involved in a very unfortunate spool on the Swat Cup Road through the irresponsibility of some of the cyclists. Uh, as you can see on his right hand side, he uh, lost valuable minutes in the race, uh, requiring first aid and medical help. Uh, this is unfortunately that uh, the discipline uh, is not really all at high standard. And I think this is one of the areas that we have to look in. Are there any other questions? Uh, And it depends on the, our individuals as parents and as friends, as officials of clubs to install this into our members, that the discipline comes from the inside and it does not get taught to you. Thank you. Good morning, Carlton Leroux. Uh, well, Carlton, uh, this is the second year that you've won the unregistered section. 
Um, the route was a bit longer this morning. Uh, can you tell me how you found the new route this morning? No, the new route I found very, very hot and uh, I did my best and uh, it was very long. I mean, certain times. Of... Um, how did you like the view? Uh, those of us who followed the route this morning found it very picturesque and beautiful. Uh, where were the problem areas on this particular route? Mainly when you come through to me, so and uh, through the traffic. I had problems with getting through the traffic. How did you find the various hills and little mountains and stuff? Were they easy to negotiate or did they present some problems? No, they were quite easy. Now, you are an unregistered cyclist. Can you tell me a bit about your preparation, a bit of your secrets, uh, a bit of your perhaps uh, enthusiasm? Uh, what makes you as an unregistered cyclist to do something like this? I haven't got any secrets, but I'm only doing it for fun. Oh, so you do it for fun. Um, are you not interested in joining perhaps a cycling club? No, no, I'm in the club. Anyway, um, good luck and many years of happy cycling. Thank you very much. Uh, Call him Mr. Pat Williams, please report to the PA section. We're waiting on you. Uh, Mr. Willie Grooty, Mr. Willie Grooty, please report to the paid section. Ms. Jared, Ms. Mr. Pat Williams, we're waiting on you. Well, Mr. P. Johnson, please report to the paid section. Mr. Dean Johnson, please report to the paid section. Mr. Dean Johnson, I'm from TNP Hotel, please report. Um, is this your very first uh, to the Cape Flat uh, ride out or? Second one. Um, can you tell me about the differences between the two routes? Um, perhaps some of the problems you encountered this morning? No, oh, the route is okay. Only some of the roads is bad for it. So the roads are right. Um, have you got any um, tips or secrets that you perhaps would like to pass on to us or non-cyclists who perhaps might in our crazy worms attempt to ride a tandem in a Tour de Cape Flats? We must just uh, turn hard in the heels, so I use just keep you back a lot. Um, how long and for how many hours of prep did you put into this uh, event this morning? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's, uh, um, I didn't prepare for this race. Um, I just cycled this to work, to work in fact. No other extra preparation. Oh, so you are just a, a fun cyclist to cycle to and fro from your place of employment. Well, anyway, um, good luck and we hope to see you back next year. Thank you. Tassim, my Maitland Wheelers. Uh, Shafiq, can you tell us how old you are? 13 years old. Oh, he's 13 years old. Uh, Shafiq, uh, for how many uh, years have you been cycling? Four. So Shafiq started cycling at the age of nine. Uh, Shafiq, uh, how many times have you completed Tour de Cape Flats? Four times. 
So this is the fourth time that uh, Little Shafiq Tassim has completed to a decade flat. Shafiq, uh, what can you tell me about the route this morning? How did you find it? Very hard. Oh, it was very hard. Did you work very hard? Oh, yes. So how many hours did you work uh, on the road? Did you say it was very hard? What? Three hours. Oh, three hours a day. Oh, so this small man spent three hours a day. Um, can you tell me, uh, all the little boys around here, young men, um, who are interested in cycling, like that guy over there with the BMX, as you see over there, uh, what can you tell him if he's interested in cycling? Can you tell me, do you enjoy it? Uh, what, what, why do you cycle, tell me? For the fun of it. Oh, you cycle for the fun of it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, well, uh, you are the youngest here this morning, so um, we wish you well in whatever you're going to do, and uh, we hope one day you will be the senior winner. Thank you. So we have the winners for the second year in a row of uh, Mount View Senior Secondary School. Closing with us are uh, Mr. Dean and Mr. Pat, uh, the sponsors of uh, Protea Toyota. Uh, we got our Salwan here, he's the designated uh, leader of Mount to give us a bit of background into the cycling activities. Good morning, Salwan. Good morning to you. Uh, Salwan, can you tell me, introduce your members to us, starting from the left hand side? That's Boding Kisna Sami, Dion David, Alexander Papi, and Lloyd Style. Uh, Salwan here next to me. Salwan, can you tell me how long have you been cycling as a group? We have started the club in 1981 and from that time on we have, um, we, we rode as a group and stayed together from that time on. Oh, so you are all uh, members of the, uh, of the uh, Mount View Senior Secondary School? Yes, sir. Oh, um, I noticed that uh, you have won this event for the second year in a row. Um, what advice would you like to give the team of Castle Flay that came second? Uh, how could they perhaps improve their performance? Let us be honest and share our secrets. Don't keep everything in the lucky packet box, perhaps. I would say hard work, um, and you know, they, the, the captain must be very strict, and he mustn't um, let, uh, you know, do the. Um, do what they want to do, he must uh, be very strict on his practice and he must on time, I would say. So, the hallmark to success is discipline, dedication, faith in themselves, and above all, to be a winner. So, to the Mount View young men people here, the young men here this morning, our congratulations. And uh, we just asked the one of Mr. Dean to say a few words here of encouragement to Mount View. Mr. Dean, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Um, on behalf of Pro Tier Toyota, Castle Player of Galvo, I'd like to congratulate the winning team from Mount View. Wish them everything was the very best. And um, also the team that came second. If you've got somebody to beat, Castle's Play, that's where we come from. Come on up, Castle's Play. Um, we'd like to see you back here again next year. And whenever there's a winner, the guys behind always chase, so you've got to stay up front. Thank you. So, um, so Mount View, things have been going well for you. So, Toyota, you have to push chassis, play. You haven't done your homework. Anyway, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We will call the Castlefly team now. Uh, Castlefly Senior Secondary School, please come forward. This is a Oval area. They have entered two teams here this morning. Um, Congratulations on coming second. It seems that uh, Mount View has a very, very well oiled steam. Um, can you tell me a bit about your team? I noticed that one of your members had a spill this morning touching by his head. Um, can you please introduce your team here to us this morning? This is Ryan Rigby. This is Martin Abrams. Uh, you from the area of the sponsors, Castles Play, uh, Toyota Prutia. Uh, can you tell me how long have you been riding as a group? 
We are riding for, for say, two and a half months. Oh. Kessel's Play is a very, very young team. They are only in existence for two and a half months here. And the feat that they put up this morning, the performance they put up this morning, has been very notable and very praiseworthy. Uh, we hope to see a CT next year from you of Kessel's Play. So my advice to you is work harder, study harder, and you'll be a winner. Be sure, like Protea Toyota. Thank you. What is your name? Fakhri Abrams. This is Fakhri Abrams. Fakhri, how young are you? I'm 10 years old. How are you 10 years old? Uh, Fakhri, what club do you belong to? To Maitland Wheeler Cycling Club. Oh, you belong to Maitland Wheeler Cycling Club? Is that the best club here? Yes. Is that the best club in the province? I don't know. Oh, you're not sure. Um, you're the youngest here. So, how long have you been cycling? <laughs> how long? Come, come, you must remember. Two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, so you only been uh, cycling for two weeks and you rode how many miles today? 80. 80, 90 miles. 80, 90 miles. Oh, so you a uh, long distance. Um, didn't you feel scared that all those big boys were going to beat you? No. No, not at all. Um, do you like cycling? Yes. Uh, did, you, did you come and join the club at the Oh, no, did your father pull you into it? No. I you, came on my own. Oh, you came on your own. Now, if that lady's at the bar, uh, in front of you and behind you and the other girls look at you, you still going to say that you came on your own? Yes. Oh, I see. Anyway, um, good luck. And uh, we hope one day you will be like Dougie and uh, Willie Clutty and uh, Willie Newman that you're also going to wear the yellow jersey and you're going to win. Okay? Thank you. Okay, bye. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the...